let's take a look at the following example. It says, hey, solve this differential equation. Suppose we want to solve this at the point, ordinary point zero. Note that this guy doesn't have any singular points. Our theorem guarantees that we can find power series solution for this differential equation. So since this differential equation is written in the standard form and we know that it doesn't have any singular points, so the radius of convergence includes every real number. Let us take the derivative and plug those into the differential equation. Y prime becomes the sum and starts from one to infinity Cn times n x to n minus one. And the second derivative becomes the sum and start from two to infinity Cn n n minus one x to n minus two. So let's substitute this here. We get the sum Cn n n minus one x to n minus two and start from 2 to infinity minus x times sum cn x to the n and start from 0 to infinity and on the right hand side we have a 0. Let us simplify this. We get the sum cn n n minus 1 x to n minus 2 and start from 2 to infinity minus the sum cn x to n plus 1 and start from 0 to infinity and it is equal to this. Very good. What we can do here? Our goal is to try to combine these two series. Let's shift the index here to get the sum and start from zero to infinity, cn plus two, n plus two, n plus one, x to the n minus, well, here we get the sum and start from zero to infinity, cn x to n plus one equal to zero. This is the shift that, that we did. But note that here your exponent is n and here, you have n plus one. They are different from each other. Let's make more adjustments here. So we can write this as c sub two times two times one x to power zero plus sum. Now n starts at one to infinity c n plus two n plus two n plus 1, x to power n. And then for the second series, we can write it as, now we can shift this to start at 1, and we subtract 1 from n minus sum, and start at 1 to infinity, cn minus 1, x to power n. So as you can see, this becomes 2c2 plus now we can combine these two signs and starts from one goes to infinity and here we have x to the n and the coefficients are going to be well cn plus two n plus two n plus one minus cn minus one x to the n equal to zero very good so far so good what else we can do? We can say that C2 must be equal to, well, zero. And this coefficient must be equal to zero as well. It means that we need to find a recursive formula for the rest of the coefficients. Cn plus two, n plus two, n plus one minus cn minus one must be equal to zero. Now let's see what do we have. So, so far we just know that c2 is equal to zero. Now let me erase this part of the board. I need to copy this guy down up here so I can find a recursive formula. Okay. So let's 
So, so far, this is what we did. And this is what we have. We have C2 equal to zero, and we have Cn plus two equals to Cn minus one divided by n plus two times n plus one. So these are the formulas that we have so far. We're going to break this code so eventually we can uh, distinguish what this power series as a solution of this differential equation represents. So if n is equal to one, c sub three becomes c sub zero divided by three times two. If n is equal to two, c sub four becomes c sub one divided by we have four times three. If n is equal to three, c sub five becomes, well, here you have c sub two divided by whatever it is. We know that c sub two is equal to zero, so c sub five becomes a zero. If n is equal to four, c sub six is equal to c sub three divided by, here we have six times, Five. And then what do we have? We know that C sub three is C sub zero divided by three times two. So it becomes C sub zero divided by six times five times three times two. Let us move on. N is equal to five. C sub seven becomes C sub four divided by here we have seven times six what c sub four is equal to just use the function that we have here c sub one divided by seven times six times four times three let's continue this process if you continue this process you get the following information n is equal to six. Let's write down n equals to six here. If n is equal to six, then we get c sub eight equals to c, uh, c sub five divided by eight times seven. But c sub five is c sub one divided by these multiplications. So we get c sub one divided by eight times so let's see if this is a five this is is equal to zero so this guy just becomes zero right yes so now let us check to see if n is equal to seven. What do we have? We get c sub nine, which is c sub six divided by, well, here we have nine times eight for c sub six. Let's find c sub six. c sub six is just right here. We get c sub zero divided by nine times eight times six times five times three times two. We can continue this process. If you continue this process, then you're going to check to see that y becomes well c sub zero plus c sub one times x plus c sub two x squared. Now you have c sub three, which is c sub zero divided by three times two x to the third plus now c sub four which is c sub one divided by four times three x to the fourth plus now you have c sub five which is just zero plus c sub six which is c sub three divided by six times Five and we know that this is equal to c sub zero over six times five times three 
times 2 x to the 6 and plus the rest of the terms. What do we see here? If we try to group these together, the pattern that we are observing is this as follows. Y1 can be written as 1 plus x cubed divided by 3 times 2 plus x to the 6 divided by 6 times 5 times 3 times 2 plus the rest of the terms. And y sub 2 of x can be written as x plus x to the fourth divided by 4 times 3 plus x to the seven divided by 7 times 6 times 4 times 3 plus the rest of the terms. So we can do our best and write this in this format and eventually we can represent this using the series notation which is equal to one plus the sum x to the power three k divided by well here you have two times three the rest of the terms and we have three k minus one times three k and k starts from one to infinity and y2 can be written as x plus the sum x to the power 3k plus 1 divided by here you have 3 times 4 times the rest of the terms which is just multiplication times here we have 3k times 3k plus 1 and k starts from 1 and goes to infinity step by step we found it um series solution for this differential equation.